Hey everyone, in uh, today's video, I'm going to be doing sort of a review on a microblock. So this is the GRS microblock by Jura. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's different than the other microblocks, but it comes with different attachments. And if you want to buy the attachments on their own, they're, it's pretty expensive. So the main function to this is to hold your workpiece, obviously, but it, it rotates on two planes so as you can see it rotates 360 degrees in this direction then you can put it on the, the foot the base plate and it also rotates like this you can get a rubber base plate instead of that plastic one and that should theoretically grip it more so what what makes this uh, vice which is what it is so good it can hold rings oops in different positions so you just stick the little allen key in here tighten it down however loose or tight you want you can make it really tight so it doesn't move you can make it loose so you can spin it you can work on your ring say you got some engraving to do or like this ring you're doing an eternity, eternity ring which has stones all the way around. You can get at the ring with it being held in this orientation. Then the other attachments, it comes with different sleeves as well, different sizes for obviously different sized rings. You have this attachment, which you just button down. And you can slide the sleeve in here like this. You don't need a different Allen key. It works for this one too. And what it's doing is, is it, it's expanding the sleeve so that it grabs the ring. Now you have the ring on a different plane. You want to work on the edges. It's really nice vise. It has a little, uh, I think this is called a through bolt right here. So you can lock up the spinning orientation or you can make it looser. It, it has to have a bearing in it with, with how nice it spins. And the other attachment is gonna be just for like holding um, coins really or little pieces of sheet metal or they have a little slot in there where you can put a burr in if you want to sharpen it I'll show you that one so if you want to get one of these um, obviously you know they make cheap ones knockoff brands I have not used those so I cannot vouch for the quality of them the reviews I've seen are extremely mixed so some people love them, some people hate them. I think that's a quality control thing. Uh, you might get a really good one, you might get a really crappy one. I just went with this because I like the attachments. So this one, as you can see, it's just a slot for like pinching. Um, I don't know if this is gonna fit, but say you got a penny. You can pinch a penny in there. You want to engrave it or if you have burrs that you want to sharpen or mess around with it has a little slot in here to hold your burrs holds really tight if you want to buy this exact one i think it's around 500 i went and picked up an extra jaw set for it so I think mine was about 700 for the whole lot. It also comes with that little thing, that black thing on my wall that holds all the attachments. But these, um, I'm pretty sure it came with some pegs to go in there. I don't know, I haven't, I don't think I've actually used it. So I don't, it might've just been a waste of money. 
that would be for, you know, engraving bigger pieces, which I don't do much graving. Uh, all I got is, you know, little palm gravers. These things are stupid expensive for just a piece of rubber. Uh, you, you really can't go wrong with this, though, if you work on rings. Um, once you get it, you're just, you're going to love it. It's, there's a saying in the tool industry, you know, buy once, cry once. And that's kind of this tool right here. I, I feel that it's overpriced, but you know, what other competitor is making something like this? And so if you want to save a few bucks, they do have GRS micro blocks that aren't the Jura. They, have, they also have like uh, ball vices that are XL, you know, they're bigger than this one. And they come with all sorts of attachments that basically do everything these attachments do. I think this is just, you know, like a higher step up and I wouldn't say quality, but uh, ease of effort maybe is a good way to say it. And then I still haven't tried out the rubber base yet. So these can come right out. One thing I've noticed is if you're um, kind of peculiar with things like I am, you're gonna want this to twist towards you, to unscrew and twist away from you, to screw in. And so if you have this screw, this bolt, this orientation, and you go to screw away from you, it's gonna, it's gonna screw uh, away. If you screw like this, it'll screw into you or screw into each other. This is really nice that this fully disassembles as well. Because then you can clean that. Say you want to work on gold and you were just working on silver. I think I'm going to tag one end with a Sharpie. And then a little bit right there so I always know which orientation it's in. But it does slide in the other way. If you have it backwards is what I would say. You have to put your vices your vice in backwards. Your, uh, your top here. It can be a little tricky to get everything put in. You gotta have both sides in at the same time, you know, obviously because you want them to pinch closed in the middle, like that. But I like it, I really like it. If you're thinking about getting one, I'll put a link in the description where you can buy them. Uh, I'm only going to use one website though. I mean, there are other websites that sell them, but this website, it has a program that you can get put in after you spend so much money and it's, I think it's worth it to buy from this company. They sell pretty much everything jewelry related that you could even think of. This is my review. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, uh, just post a comment. Have a good day.